Yeah, the squirrels, there they are. Let's have a look at the squirrels. No, no, they've run away. You're just listening, because they're shouting, so he must be, he must be here. There he is, there he is. Yay, leopard. Now, do you just want to let Mike Grover know? Hello, boy. Because he was asking about this leopard. Mike, Mike for Taylor. But it looks like it's Tingana, just from the size of him. Uh, Mike Grover, for Taylor, if you copy, I uh, managed to locate Tingana. He's on that road that runs parallel with Gari, Main and Chitwe. It runs on the eastern side of the dam. Sorry, bad luck. Just letting him know, because Mike was the one who was helping us search for Tingana, and I was really hoping we were going to get it on a spot uh, where he could also come and have a look, but unfortunately he cannot. Now, I am going to have to call the sighting in, too. Let me see if I can if I can uh, call anybody in. Actually, I, no, I don't have any signal for the moment, so we'll just leave it for a couple of minutes. I'll have to maybe move a bit closer to the lodge and to higher ground. Now, of course, it's this lovely leopard, and I'm going to put a light on him. So please excuse me if you see the car moving slightly. I'm just going to put one of my LEDs over there. Well spotted also sends on. Let's turn that one on. There we go. Just creating a little bit of warm light, if you will. Isn't this very cool? I'm going to roll forward, if we can. Should we see if we can get a... Let me get a better angle. You can stay like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move slightly and see if we can find a better gap through the grass. How's that one? Can we see his eyes a bit better? I'm going to keep going like this just until we find the most perfect gap. I think if I go a little bit further forward, there we go. Hang on, almost. Almost! Yay! I have had leopards today. Well, a leopard. I have had elephants. It has been absolutely wonderful out here. Megan, I'm just confirming, am I still live? Because I haven't heard anything, and I know Wendy's signal out here is not the greatest. Fantastic. I am so happy. I was worried for a minute. Megan was very quiet. It must be because she's so excited to see so many leopards today. And uh, I thought for a moment that I was perhaps just talking to myself. But I'm glad that I'm not talking to myself. I'm glad that I'm talking to all of you. And, well, thanks to those squirrels. Thank you, Tingana, for giving a rasping call that we were all able to hear. And luckily for us, we managed to find his tracks too, which was great. So all of those things together... Wonder what a wonderful combination in being able to find that leopard. So that's it. Being at the right place at the right time or being close enough to the right place to follow up on a cat like this. Now I just want to try and call the sighting in very quickly. Can these stations copy me? I don't think I've got good signal here. Ellie! I've located Mokulumodora Ingwe. He is, I'm not sure what the name of the road is, the road that runs parallel to Gauri Main on Chitwa. Uh, we're basically about 300 meters north of the lodge. I've got visual of the lodge. Um, I don't have very good comms though, it's just myself here. Space for two. I'm east of the open area. Uh, I can see the setup, but uh, he's basically uh, just on that road that runs on the eastern side of the lodge in parallel to Gari Main. I'm quite close to the lodge. He's static for the moment. Cool. So we actually, he's just speaking to Ellie, in case you were wondering. You might be able to hear the hippos calling in the distance too. Copy, thanks, Ali. Um, I'm gonna go radio down just for a little bit of, I don't have good comms. If anybody wants to come and join me, they're more than welcome. There's space for two. There we go. So we, it's very, very hard to try and chat to the other guys. It's just a bit scraggly, the radio at the moment. So at least we've notified Ali, cause she's driving at Chitwa at the moment. I think she's having a sundowner currently, which is actually not too far from here. And wouldn't that be a fantastic way, or well, a fantastic way to end your day with a big male leopard strolling past 
while you're having a sundowner in the bush. And I can tell you that that's happened to all of us as guides. It's the most amazing thing to experience, a big male leopard walking past you on foot. Now, we have had experiences before. In Tangana, of course, doesn't uh, like people on foot, but that's, of course, when you're tracking. Um, however, I think that he'll be okay this time because you'll hear all the noise. He'll just watch from a distance and carry on. But there's also some zebra and impala not too far from him, about 100 meters away. And I reckon that's going to be his next position. If you just look just all the way down over there, you can see the lodge, you see bits and pieces of the lodge, and then of course the impala, an entire whole herd, a whole herd of impala, and a couple of zebra too. What we're gonna do, we're gonna send you across to James now. The light is starting to fade, and we'll be back with you in a moment. Oh, we're live live. That was quite a sudden live live. Hello, everybody. We didn't realize. I think we had a small problem.